Hey y'all, good morning. It's been a little while since I made a video. Um, a lot has changed. And also, some, some of y'all be seeing, y'all be going to my old videos, and I guess they look like they're in real time right now. But it's like, those were the phases. It's many different phases as a single mom that you go through different steps. And now I'm at a new one, different hardships. It is five years later. My little one is now five years old. And now we just face different things like starting kindergarten, okay? And um, a lot of people will not understand my videos unless you are already going through these things. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of things, a lot of other people won't understand because people are not open around you or to you because you're probably lame. Are you probably really close-minded and people don't, your own friends probably feel the way that I feel, but they don't tell you and open their mouths to you because like I said, you're probably lame, you're close-minded or, um, you know, they just, they can't tell you nothing because you're so judgmental. And I'm talking to those who always be on here or want to uh, judge me for me being so open. That's just who I am. I can be open and I feel like I have always been able to be a voice for those who would like to be able to say and express themselves like I do. And just so that they know that they are not alone in their thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And and that some of those things too, they are just thoughts, you know? And we can grow from that. And a lot of the videos and things that I've said and that I've made in the past, I no longer feel that way. That was something I was going through at that moment. But I shared it to reach out to those who were going through that same situation so it can help them and help build and give them strength while they were going through what they're going through so they can see that eventually you will come out of it and i'm calling the lame the ones who are lame like some of yeah some of the comments y'all don't know how can you think like that you're a bad parent you shouldn't have children and da 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 no, I'm a great parent and I'm a great person even more so to be able to be so open and make a video like this and put it all out there to reach many with regardless of whoever thinks what. I feel like that's, that is who I am and I can still hold my head up high. So anyway, just had to address that. A lot of you who know me or don't know me or whatever too, sometimes my videos be all over the place. I don't have a skit. I don't do anything special, have no special effects or anything like that. I just talk and hope that I can reach someone who can relate. I keep it real. Being real is just real. There is no editing when it comes to just being real. And that is what I am. And you will never find another video on here that is just like me, another station um, or whatever. That's, that's just keep it as real as me. So anyways, back to this new issue, which I know a lot of people probably face and they're like, oh my God, I just don't get it. But it feels a lot better when you know that, look, you're not the only one going through it and that somehow, some way, we're going to figure it out. We always do, okay? Um, so like I said, single mom and your kid goes into kindergarten. Shit changes, okay? As a hairstylist, I can't do that type of job. That means I only have Monday through Friday from... I just brought her to the bus just now. So that means like if I was on my way to work, I need to, the earliest I can be there from eight and I need to be back here no later than really 2.30 because the bus come at like 3.20 or something, but I'm not about to be stuck in Houston traffic somewhere or chance it. I need to be here on time just in case they come extra early or emergency or whatever. I need to be here. Anyways, so I only have those few hours to make money. In a hair salon business, that is not going to work. On Monday through Friday is like, Okay, money, you're not going to, it's not the busiest days. You need to be there on the weekend. So ain't nobody trying to keep me. The last job, they was whack anyways. They was like, oh, Lord Jesus. That's a whole other subject, Lord. The, the, the depth that that job got me in. I can't believe I was the broke. I was a broker with a job. I, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyways, that is not going to get it. Monday through Friday through them hours. The, that industry especially wants you to work on the, in the, on the weekends or be available all around the clock, which is most jobs now. They will tell you at the at the application, at the interview, sorry, no, um, we need you to be more open. They need you to be able to do back flips for these jobs right now. And that's at $10 an hour. And 
how are you supposed to do that when you are a single mom and you don't have anyone or you don't have the funds you need to be able to make money first to be able to put them into they have different they have different options they have uh, after school care that one is like the one here is about $180 a month if you want to do after school care which will extend the hours till about you have until about 630 I believe to pick them up and that's not bad but still you need to be able to be able to afford that. That's another bill that you gotta add in. We ain't even, you know, that shit together. You know, that's something, that's an option. You know that it's there. And when you're ready for that, when you can do that, because nobody knows you're rich like you do. Because it's gonna be other people be like, oh, you can do this, you can do that, really? You don't think I know that? I can't do that right now. I'm trying to do some other stuff like, so. Because we got that option. Then, you know, the weekly daycare, they also, too, they have 24-hour daycare. The 24-hour daycare is, they have it here. It's like it may average about that age, about one fifty a week or whatever. They'll even pick them up from school. They'll drop them off. They'll drop them off, and you bring them up a little earlier, and they'll drop them off to school, and then you can pick them up as late as eight thirty p.m. if you do a school thing, or if you can do it around on your own. It's just twenty four hours, five days a week, any five days out the week, seven um up to twelve hours out of them, them seven days. That's great. $150 a week. You got that right now? $150. You do the math. That's another house note. But for a single mom, $150 a week? Uh, you think I just got it like that? No, sir. It's not happening. Not right now at this very moment. It can happen. It will happen in due time. But psh, 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 I'm trying to keep the roof over my head. You know what I'm saying? Then another thing, too, you face as a single mom, kindergarten, new kindergartner, and our new kindergartners, or however you live in, how many other kids you got. Because I have people on here. I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all be having multiples. Man, God bless you for real. But um, the thing you face too, a lot of people don't understand. Like, and I see the frustration on people's faces. I already know it. I already know the struggle. And I be looking at another mom. I already know what you're going through. They don't understand hardships. Like, just going to get uniforms. I think they, I don't know when they, the change of uniforms. They thought they was making it less expensive, or it was more so they want everybody to look alike. So they don't. Um, you know, have caused troubles or whatever, but sure. Um, anyways, they, I mean, they decent, but you still, you got, you go to school five days, can't be wearing, uh, same over and over again. So, you know, you gotta come up with that. So I get, I get, I, I am able to ask for help from certain people, and they, I did, well, I was able to get started, I was, I was able to get help from them and help her get started with some school supplies. And so grateful for that. And then I was able to like just get a couple of more little things. And now I think we had like the five days or whatever. But that's another struggle. Believe me, I know your struggle. If you're there and you like, oh my God, I don't know about school supplies. How am I going to get all this? Like you are not alone in your struggle. Like I just want to let you know. And somehow we're going to figure it out. We're going to get it. We're going to do what we need to do. We're going to make sure they have to make sure they cute every single day when they go to school. We're going to get through this. We're going to do that. We'll make sure they got the supplies. A lot of times too, look around in your neighborhood. Sometimes I would. I just drove down the street and then seen like a whole uh, school or some event somewhere where they was giving out free uh, school supplies. Go jump up on it. Stand, stand in the line. Walk in the line. Whatever you got to do, sit down. To, and, and yes, if you know you're at that point where you need that right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm not worried about what not now. Other person talking about what they doing, what they got on, how they live in, uh, what they showing on their Instagram. I'm going to stay in my lane. This is my lane right here. And I'm not ashamed of what I'm going through or whatever. Because you understand, once again, everything I go through is not only just for me. It's so I can be able to speak about it and reach out to somebody else and let them know, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get through this. You know what I'm saying? If, if anything, all this stuff just makes me tougher and harder. And I go hard and I keep going and it is what it is. And, and I face it and I just, I just, I don't stop. I'm like, I know I got the blood of a slave. I know I do. I got blood of many slaves in me because like, I have never been one to stop. Whoop my life, be whooping my ass like a goddamn slave on a goddamn cotton field. And I still be gone. Just strong. Just, okay. All right. And I keep going. I don't stop. I just keep going. Anyways, like I said, I know your struggle. I know what you're going through. You just got to keep going. You just got to keep going. And every day is a new day to try again. Um, so some of the things um, that I've done to try to help me right now until I can find a job that's going to work with those hours and that's going to actually help pay my bills. 
because even at a $10 an hour job with those only few hours during the day after taxes, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to pay my rent, my car. I'm not gonna be doing it. It's, it's, it's not gonna be enough. So anyways, I have been in, I've been able to do, I've been looking to, oh, this is a new world too out here with all these, these, um, these new, these gig jobs and stuff like that. So I've been getting into all of them. I like to switch up. I like, I like variety. Is that a word? You know, I'll be making up stuff. I like to not have to uh, keep doing the same thing every single day. If I don't have to, I feel like it's going to help build up my resume. And, um, that's another thing. I always look for opportunities to help me to get to where I want to be are places that help me to do things like that. Get over a resume that was placed right across the street. I'm already there. I will be going back there and they help you build a resume. Look for places like that too. You know what I'm saying? And as you do whatever you have to do, remember that that is helping you to um, get a better job, a better paying job. And, and we'll get there. Just got to keep going. It's good. Six sip on my coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, so like I said, it's been a new like gig economy, so we um we have to be like we gotta be smart with our shit. And we gotta be on top of everything. If you can find something that you can do at home from home, that would be great. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, you can just get out there, start researching, start asking people about different things. There are opportunities that you can do from home, you can work from home, you're that type of person. Now in the gig economy, I'm talking about things like okay, all the ones I'm signed up with, postmates. Uber and Uber Eats, uh, Lyft, and there's a new one called Papa Pals. I just started that one this week. And then, um, what else? Doors Ash, Shipped, uh, Instacart. Like, I signed up with all of them, just try all of them. The ones I really feel like I can do, that's my fit. I do them. And sometimes two or three of them at one time. Favor, that's here in Texas. I really like them. You can get hours with them. Learn each one. If you can get with them, learn each one and see which one works best with your personality type. And some people don't feel comfortable with having people in their car. I don't mind, but at certain times that I don't like people in my car. Certain times of higher traffic time, or I feel like higher risk time. I'm already taking a risk. I'm in Houston and they drop so mean i can't stand it i can't wait so i can take a vacation on an island somewhere you ain't gotta be an island just take me off on a dirt road somewhere with no phones so i can just get away from all these people i can't stand they do not care for your life out here at all they drive stupid so at certain times of the day i feel like the chances increases for me to what's something to happen you should see some stuff that happened just this week and I'm, I'm like oh god jesus i'm so glad nobody else was in my car but I, I don't do, I won't chance it with other people because I'm already, I'm, I'm extra alert when I have people in my car though, but I'm extra, I'm a little extra, a little bit more nervous too because I'm, I got somebody else's life back here that I have to make sure that is okay. So like certain, you know, you want to find which niche works for you. I do like Uber Eats. I like the way that I don't have to, um, I don't have to wait i don't have to call in an order or anything like that it's already ready when i get there and then they have the little setting where you can just set it you can get automatic requests you just keep going you know what i'm saying and then like yesterday too i had one they had me downtown i don't do downtown that's another place that place made me so nervous yesterday i hit a curb i ain't never had an accident in my car i hit a whole curb it is so many people it's so many homeless people it's working i mean it's just tons of people that just makes me nervous i just don't like it it's this person told me to deliver their stuff on the 68th floor. I should have had a red before I had. I'm still learning how to do it. No, 68th floor. And then I ain't know where to park. I ain't know how to park. It's a limited parking. Unless you want to take a chance and, like, you know, put on your little, your little signal. Like, man, they told like crazy on here. So it was just crazy. I know. But you can deny it at the um. I went on and finished that one. I parked and I paid $2 to park. Which, why am I paying a deliver? I shouldn't pay $1.50 to go do something for somebody else. So, anyways. 
the next one was like downtown somewhere too and i'm just circling around looking for this place i couldn't even see it so i was gonna really have to park somewhere and then go walk around and i gotta make sure i look out for myself first and make sure i'm in the right designated parking spot before i come down i can't see my car no more because it's gone so that one i canceled right there and then i can't I, you can put on the i can't make this delivery or i'm not taking this delivery so i like about that too as an independent contractor you have that option so um they got me looking like a zebra so anyways um I do like that one and it's like it's quicker because like I said you don't have to make no orders the only thing about this like seeing I can be honest like right now I'm learning how to manage money and it comes in really small increments like uh and like so you have to really be smart with it like I go without everything all I care about is lights rent and call as long as that's paid whatever if I can't pay oh well right now tonight to, today boo boo just gonna have to wait so I can get it together and get ahead to where I need to be because like I said that last job I had it was whack and it put me behind a lot so I had to take care of my main things but um if you learn and, and it's gonna be different for different people and different markers maybe you do have more time maybe you can figure it out how I really boost up and make a lot of money for you or whatever but it's gonna be about the same average of a, the average job anywhere from uh 10 to 15 an hour and really to more so i look at it i don't really look at it about an hour you can average it out like that later if you want to but it's more so about what you do and so i really look at it like okay now i got a commission job oh, i got a mustache um so you know i look at it like that or whatever but i also now i have someone i have to talk to who's really good with money and really trustworthy and i'm like look can you help me and i help they so kind of like how a regular job, you know, you don't see that money. You make your money the whole day and you don't see that. It goes in a little thing or whatever. And then you get it back at the end of the week or the end of two weeks. I have somebody who I can trust and I, get, I send it to them every day. And then I'll get it in the next two weeks. They know, like, I got this coming up on this date. And this is when I want it back for that and everything else. You know, it's just to help me because I'm not used to, like, really just being on my own strictly on my own working and having to take care of every dollar myself coming in and knowing that i feel like that was a great choice for me to get help and to be saying look bitch. you know what i'm saying especially if it's i thought it out here 50 dollars here 60 dollars here 80 dollars here you know what i'm saying you need to you gonna see that and you're gonna be like like strip of money or something well not exactly but you know oh i can just make some more tomorrow i didn't do this and that no you need to look at it look i don't have it it ain't even nowhere in my reach and then, you know what I'm saying? Only what I need to do is put some gas in this car and keep going. That's it. That's all that matters right now. For the moment, that's the cars that I've been dealt and I will play them. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't on her trying to act like no rich chick or whatever. Like, I'm going to stay in my lane. I don't go party. I don't be going out. I wish I could have an alcoholic beverage. I really do. I really need one. Lord Jesus Christ, I be praying for that reason my life would come sometime. One day. You know, just like something, something to little wine or something to help them get through these hard times, but whatever. But um, again, those are some options that you can do. Um, uh, Postmates, I think maybe it's better in some other places. I'll still do it from time to time. A lot of these jobs, too, they give you the option to cash out immediately. And I like that part because sometimes you might need something immediately. Baby needed another pair of pants for school. Bam. Needed some shoes right now because they grow out of shoes so damn quick. Bam. You know what I'm saying? So, can we have no tight shoes at school? Like, those things. But, again, you know, be smart with it and everything like that. Just something in the meantime while you're waiting on people to call you back and stuff like that because I already know how it go with job search and the people like you ain't find nothing yet you can't make nobody call you how about i went to an interview last week guess when they had called they said yeah you fill out this application in june 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 this year june a couple of months ago okay i totally forgot i didn't even remember i had to have them refresh my memory where is this from and what was this about and then um i had one person call me it was like yeah you fill out this application about a year ago a year ago Thank you, because if my life depended on you, I'd have been 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 done dead. Okay, thank you very much. So about a year ago, I fill out the application. But anyways, all I can say to you mothers, though, the main thing is to keep going every single day. Like tonight, I don't have a sit-up. 
but I learned one of the little things that I do, one of the, um, went pretty, pretty much the Uber Eats, because at late night, it's not a lot of people that go out and do it, and I'm talking about late, since I'll be out there by 2 o'clock or whatever. All I'm doing is going through the drive through pick up the food, and then when I get to the person, they come out to the curb and get it, and, um, so I'm probably going to bring my little one with me. She'll be in the back sleep on the phone or whatever, on her little phone or pad, iPad or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a sitter tonight. But why am I going to quit or let that stop me from, from getting money? And so I just kind of switch up on which job I'm going to do and um, and do that. And I'm about to go in a little bit. I'm starting a little bit later today because I went earlier. Yesterday I went so hard, no breaks. And then so I kind of switched up. And then since I'm going twice today, I'm going to go to today. So she get off of school and then work again tonight, late night. Just bam. All right, keep going. Putting the baby on the back. Let's go. Come with me. We gotta we gotta keep it keep it pushing until something happens. So I can get back to my dreams. I can't even afford to dream right now. Like I so want to be doing my little movie things and getting back into TV and film and stuff. And like I can't even afford to do that right now. All that I can't afford to dream. It costs a dream. So just in the meantime. Let's go make it. I'm just going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just be having to do little things in my mind to, to, to like, stay focused. Just stay focused, Andrew. Just, just off, look, shh, whatever. Just handle that. Just do what you got to do. I give my little self pep talks. I don't wait on nobody else to try to lift me up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just, it is what it is. We got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? People, why you don't smile? It don't feel like it right now. I'm thinking about just my the way my car is up and down to me right now. So, like, just, I don't feel like smiling right now. Just leave me alone. You want this hamburger? Nah, I'm playing. Just, just don't quit. Just keep going. And stay in your lane. And don't worry about what people, other people on the outside try to make you high over there, try to make you feel, or whatever like that. Just keep going. This is where we at. We are single moms. And this is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? To, to be like, oh, I hate this. Okay, wait till she turns 18 and da 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 we can go there for a while. It is what it is. It ain't going to change. I'm not about to just just be all freaking miserable every day when it is what it is. I got to accept this. Is, I mean, I got to go through this. I got to go through the misbehavior. I got to go through the hard days. But every day ain't so bad. Every day ain't real that. Ain't, it ain't really that. It ain't. I ain't dead. So I got to keep going. I don't have a choice. Right? So... Hope somebody got a little something out of that. I don't know. Because sometimes I just be blabbing. Sometimes I make these videos, I think, for myself and not for y'all. Y'all just be my own counselor and bit and stuff. But anyways, again, Miss Andrea Maria. If you want to shoot at us, uh, hit me up on an email, whatever. M-S-A-N-D-R-E-A-M-A-R-I-A. 81 at gmail.com. If you have any questions about any of the, the different odd jobs, the gig economy jobs that I told y'all about. Jive, that's a new one. Um, if you want to, I think you go into stores and you go into different stores and help them, um, with shelves or orders or different things like that. And you get certified through the app for each job. So that's another thing that you could be doing in the meantime, making money for what you need to do right now and getting certified to, and learning other skills that you can add onto a resume later on as you continue to look for jobs on the side. Great. You know what I'm saying? Papa Pals. Yesterday I went to one and what you do is you, you're helping elderly. Um, I went to her and whatever, you know, different things that they need, light house duty chores. She was moving out into another place and I helped her pack her stuff up. We had them all and she had them all in, uh, in I had them in, what you call them? Trailer trash bag. Helped them move over. She was uh, about 70 some years old, helped them move over. And, um, and came back to that house where she was. She was written out a room from somebody and cleaned it up, helped her clean it up. And and that was cool. You know what I'm saying? That was great. And I get paid for that. Um, get paid by the hour for that. With the guarantee hourly rate plus if you travel out a little bit, they do pay for gas. That's one of my other options. So I'm going. I'm doing everything that I possibly can. What more can you do but what you can do? So forget the rest. Don't worry about what nobody else has to say. Keep going. Keep being the best you okay just keep going that's all you can do if you're alive then that means that you got to keep going I'm sorry you can't lay down and just give up like you can't no matter how hard it is believe me i want I, I say it all the time i give up i'm done i'm tired Fuck me around. i'm done but somehow i just keep coming back in the goddamn ring and i keep fighting 
Okay, that is all I have to say. Have a great one.